Statistical models. Mark Twain once wrote that there are three types of lies. Lies, damned lies, and statistics. You might think that Twain was saying that we should never believe any statistics that we hear. I think that statistician George Bach said it better when he said, all models are wrong, but some are useful. What Twain refers to as a lie, Bach says, is a model. Statistical models are tools that statisticians use to try to describe the world around us. They are mathematical descriptions of real-world objects. By mathematical, I mean that we use math objects to describe real-world objects. More specifically, these objects are random variables. Check out that video for a refresher if you need it. Anybody who's ever gone through high school knows that the real world is complicated. If you tried to describe anything the real world perfectly, you'd end up with a lot of detail. Too much detail. Let's talk examples. Let's say that you want to ask me, how do you work out? If I were to go into perfect detail, it would sound like the, uh, I do a push-pull leg split. I go to failure in my first set. If I get to 10 on the first set, I know that I should increase the days, weight I do the full of first days, I do bed leg days, full days, I do press, press, down extreme and Did I lose you? You probably wanted a one or two sentence summary of how I hit the gym. You wanted an approximation, not every bleeding detail. And that's what Twain and Box are getting at. An approximation is technically a lie and it's technically wrong, but it allows us to describe the world more easily. If you were just describing a single value in the world like a number, you might use a random variable such as a normal, a Poisson, or a binomial. These random variables are models for the randomness that we see in the real world. The real world may not be perfectly represented by this random variable, but a lot of times it's close enough. This approximation might even be totally incorrect, but dealing with that is another story. A lot of times we're interested in relationships between variables. If we change a dependent variable x, how does it change an outcome y? Some examples are, how does this new cancer treatment affect my five-year survival? How does this new user interface affect my user watch time? These relationships are known as regressions. If there's a relationship between x and y, then the corresponding math object would be a function. No relationship is perfect, so we add some random error to fill in the gap between the function and the actual value. The first regression that people learn about is linear regression. Here, in a linear regression, the function is just a linear combination. Linear regression is a great example of an approximation because most relationships in life are not linear in nature, but on a small enough scale, it can work. Linear regressions are incredibly important tools in the statistician's toolkit, but that's another video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing, and see you in the next one.